Hello. Uh, this should be episode 26. You can see here I am with various things. I don't think I'm really going to be using this much. Let's go ahead and change that to, I don't know, something else. Um, so, I'm here in the Riven Cave. scrap and I have no idea what anything is or what to expect or you know any of that jazz I don't want to like skip a thing this isn't a thing though okay um it's just the one path right yeah okay okay I can't reach fantastic Why did it look like there's another grapple point higher up? I don't know. Fuck it. Let's carry on. So. I'm wondering if like down there is a place I've already been. Probably not considering the giant mountains surrounding it, but then again. Well, I can't tell. Oh, this is new. I mean, I've seen these from really... Wait, what? Oh, hey, monkey. Alright, so yeah, I've seen these from really far away, including on the uh, old-style world map. So I eventually go down, then. That should be f fun. Um... There's a monkey. Let's go ahead and grapple first. And I guess I uh, jump and do this. I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of statues. Okay. Oh, they have guns. I thought that was just a monkey again, but... Oh, well, that wasn't quite a jump, but I guess it technically gets the job done. Is that a ledge down there? Nope. Well, kind of, but nope. Um, yeah, let's head over here, because I know I can. I kind of wonder if... I oh, right. I almost forgot about that one. Snap seed, that's uh, helpful. I kind of want to like jump down because I feel like, not that tree, but one of those other trees. I feel like I can probably grapple on. Or I can just land, that's cool too. Um, Do you suppose that's a boss? Maybe not. I feel like I might have skipped stuff. I imagine it probably doesn't matter too much. That looks like it might be poison. Oh yeah, this is a big monkey. Oh, there's guns everywhere. Alright, um, I wanted the death blow for the health recovery, but I guess I don't get that luxury, huh? Can I get up, please? Or not? Hey there. Uh, 
I don't know how many more guns there are. Okay, I want to do stuff now. Thank you. Oh. There is totally another gun thing. And I don't like it. Oh, it's right here, actually. That is definitely poison. I can't. There we go. Hmm. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Did that, like, not even work? Haha, -ha, I can double jump backwards. That's nifty. Do you think this guy would get poisoned if I leave him in the water long enough? I'm just doing awful at this fight. Hmm. Okay. Goodness. Where did all my posture go? It was like just full. You know. Scrap magnetite. Oh, there's more items over there. Goody. Hmm. I don't know why I'm so bad at this fight. Maybe I just got to get warmed up a little. Oh dear. Okay. Well. I'll head back down eventually. But. I'm not going to go right back to that fight. Straight away. Alright. So. That's what that whole thing was, yeah. Oh right, there's a monkey here. It's very observant. Um, so I mean, if I go across, then I just end up dropping down again anyway, right? So why not just kind of do this. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Come closer. Hell yeah. Now you're fucked. Pacifying agent. More monkey. That's a lot of monkeys. The fuck am I supposed to do against that? I mean, firecrackers probably, but... Which firecrackers do I have?
I mean, alright, so this one says it inflicts posture damage. This one doesn't, so does this not inflict posture damage? I don't know. I assume the long spark stuns for longer, right? That's what makes sense. I don't know. I want to go down. Oh, there's a monkey right there, too. I don't know why it's so picky about giving me death blows on these things. Like, it's been struggling on a lot of these foes. Contact medicine. Is that a monkey right there? I can't tell. Um... Looks like I ought to get be able to get back up if I drop down there, but I'll keep going this way for now because I can. What are you? Oh, that's not a, uh... There we go. <clears throat> Interesting how the health bars persist for a moment. See an item way the fuck down there, but... I see that, like, giant rope over there. I kind of wonder if maybe... This path eventually leads back down to that cave. I'm trying to remember what it was called. I can't. The cave that is behind the uh, corrupted monk. Oh, come on. I. Oh, well. It probably didn't work because I wasn't locked on. Contact medicine. Lots of ways down. What I kind of want to do. some echo sugar and head over that way. Pretty sure I'm not missing anything else on here. No. I really hope you can still hear me because I'm not talking very loud, but... Okay, so I guess there's kind of not anything here, except for, you know, another way down there. Which I need to do eventually, right? That looks like an idol. Okay. Let's go for that. Not what I wanted. Like, there's a grapple point that then disappeared. There we go. I don't think there's any point to going over here. I mean, I guess I can continue grappling on things to stay up, but I guess those are. 
bodies and not actually living things. Let's go ahead and top off for safety. Bit of ungo sugar. Crows. Oh, that's a mob memorial, not an idol. Well, still though. Dragon's blood, blood droplets. Green mossy gourd. Ooh, I want that. Oh, it does not heal poison status. Oh, wait, no, no, well. Okay, yeah. Um, made out of necessity by those that made poisonous lands their home. It said if you live that long enough, eventually poison won't affect you at all. And it sells yellow gunpowder, too. Some. I don't know how much yellow gunpowder I'll need. May as well buy it. But let's get some money. Sweet. I didn't actually think I was going to get down to five coins. That's a lot better than I expected. But hey, it's cool. Killed the serpent god. I mean, could the thing have respawned somehow? I don't know. That's not what I wanted. Um. Oh, I see. It's just a drop. Um, I'm going to have like a third of a skill point that could be lost. But this is like probably a boss, right? Fuck it. I don't trust it. I feel like this is a spawning point for things so much darker than it was a moment ago. It's always weird how video games do that. I mean, it looks like a snake's body. Kind of. It's breathing. It ain't dead. Doesn't mean I have to, like, actually fight it. Oh, hey there! Okay. Can I kill you? I can. Just takes a few tries. Oh, I almost jumped off. Okay. Um. Four hundred and twelve XP points. Not bad. Was it just that one? I couldn't tell if it's like relocating or if it's the same thing. Uh, same enemy coming from multiple places. So how many of those do you think there are? see any more popping up so presumably 
I was kind of the only one. But, um, I mean, only one for now, you know. I'm sure there's going to be more further up ahead. I hear a lizard. Oh. Oh, yep. I don't know why I bothered doing that. So how many serpents are there? I'm gonna figure that would happen. I just obviously didn't know when. I mean, hey, at least the uh, serpent isn't, like, hearing me fight. Oh. Oh. No, give me that. Come on. Why no death blow? target. So I'm just assuming attacking the serpent here would be a really bad idea. Makes me feel like attacking that lizard might be a bad idea too. Because it's so close to the serpent that maybe I'll accidentally hit the serpent or something. Um, well, I'm pretty sure they're all just lizards, right? I don't know if I can get back up from there. It's a little bit awkward, but I guess it works. Okay. I don't want to get poisoned here. Oh, and then I get poisoned. Um, because there's another lizard that I didn't see. Let's go ahead and use antidote. Health. Oh, the mossy gourd only has one use. That's uh, less than ideal.
Nice. A little bit of scrap magnetite. Oh, crap. I'm still kind of scared of accidentally hitting the uh, serpent here. Oh, what? That came like immediately. Yay, more scrap magnetite. What do you suppose that is? If only I had like a torch, you know? Lots of scrap magnetite, dang. I hear the lizard somewhere. Yeah, this is the same thing. I just didn't notice this part of it before because of because it's really fucking dark. Can't tell where the lizards are. So that path continues. Oh, there's a house. Um, I want to go back and try to get the rest of those items, though. Which I hope I can just kind of do like this. Hell yeah. So that looks like a bottomless pit. So I guess I go the other way now. Which I think... And just do that. And then I, uh... Do you think there's any chance <laughs> of that? I don't know if either of these would do anything. Like, all I can see are the spirit emblems. Do you think a ceramic shard would help? Maybe there's ground down there? I think. I think there's ground. I think I can probably fall here. I want to 
like stay away from the walls because now is not the time not a time that I want um, a thing popping out trying to kill me. Do I hear a monkey? It's a bit hard to tell over the music. That's definitely a monkey somewhere. I think that's only there in case I fall. So I'm going to go for the jump. I'm assuming I'd die if I go down there. I mean, obviously there's the grapple point right next to the fucking snake. Jesus. Okay, I have an idea. Um, fuck these. Nope. Um, so, I mean, that was, like, pretty instant. I have so many pellets that I've never used. I have 139 pellets. I only have so many gourds. Let's go ahead and use one of those. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I was trying to like run faster or something. So I don't think I'll die if I get hit right now. Um, I don't know if it's possible for me to like dodge. I can try again. I'm sure it's not going to work, but I don't see what I have to lose. No, I can't get past that. Okay, well. Oh! Falling and dying totally kills me. I see. Or maybe it wasn't the fall that killed me, but rather the serpent hitting me? I don't know. I thought I had enough health. Okay, well, whatever. I lost 3,000 XP. That sucks. Just let me up. There we go. Okay, how many monkeys are there? Um... I haven't really been over here. Alright, monkey, you want to dance? Let's dance. Hey, Eckert's. Oh, yep, there you are. It came to me.
So where all have I been? I think I've done pretty much all of that. Um, it's just crossing this statue bridge here. And then the stuff below where I am now. And then obviously over that way that I haven't done. I don't think I've been right below where I am. Huh. Uh, that's not quite what I wanted, but whatever. It's not quite what I wanted either. Like, I don't want to be doing death blows, because I could be killing them, like, multiple in a row. Only it would let me do a normal swing here. Oh boy. Okay. See, now I want death blows to recover a bit of health. Just... Oh, jeez. This is kind of obnoxious. What the hell is that explosion? So their posture was damaged. So I mean, you know, that's cool or whatever. There's another one somewhere. Monkey blues. I heard another monkey shouting. Where is it? Pacifying agent. Okay. I wonder if a monkey might have fallen off. Oh well. Oh, there's an idol. Cool. Yeah, I still need to get over there, too. I'll go ahead and get that item while I can now. Anything noteworthy? I want to take a look over here in case there was an item I couldn't see from higher up for some reason. But yeah, I've been. All, I've done all that. I don't think I skipped anything. I didn't even use a single gourd. Killing all the monkeys. Thanks.
she is here? How did she get here? What is with this lady? Give me just a moment. All right. Not right? Yes, yes, yes. That makes sense. Wolf, you're dumb. Um... Before I forget, let's just get some more rice. You never know when you might need it, or want it, or whatever. I'm sure the next harvest is good. I hope nobody minds that I'm just murdering gods. I mean, I've only murdered one, but I'm probably going to kill the other one eventually. Okay, thanks for the rice. No chew, only swallow. <laughs> um, Sunken Valley. Bodhisattva? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, well, I feel like idol is in the direction of progress. And obviously, oh, that's a big thing. Fuck, I don't wanna. Uh, it looks like a boss. And, you know, that's like forward. I wanna like complete the areas that I have yet to do still. Um, can I get back? Oh, well, uh, okay, I can drop down at least here. I'll take a look around few grapple points for mobility doesn't look poisonous um, do I have the yeah I was just checking my ninjutsu balloon of soul yeah cuz I haven't been down there yet either um, now where do you suppose that goes probably just to that tree over there Item, item, poison. I don't see any enemies. I think I go to this tree. And now,
I'll probably just jump down from here. Let's, um, I don't need this stuff anymore. Wait. Oh, it does have five charges. It's just when I bought it, it only came with one charge. But now that I've rested, the actual charges have been restored. Nifty. I got it now. So uh, that use was actually a misclick. But by chance, I had... um. Man, it's already switched to the correct item, so it's fine. Is there really, like, nothing else over here? It's just a heavy coin purse? I would expect, I don't know, something. It's probably a secret of some sort. For whatever reason, this reminds me of, like, a tree, I think, in Dark Souls 2, that, like... You kill it, and it just restores your health. I don't know, it's weird. But it's like a helpful tree and stuff. It just... I don't know. Oh, hey there. Oh, it's one of you. Oh, I should have gone for that death blow. Oh, well, guess I get to practice. Trying to block there, dang. No, no posture recovery for you. What are you doing? What? That wasn't fair. Come on. It's not letting me block. Gunpowder, 322 experience. Okie dokie. Um, so I guess I just keep going then, eh? There's probably no items tucked behind there, but I do want to check. Poison doesn't turn out to actually be that big of a deal when I can just jump on things all the time. Or, you know, be jumping out of the poison and not actually spend much time in it. Um, so, I mean, I guess I could go do that thing now. Um, or, I could try to finish off these people. Since it's not a boss, yeah, there's still at least a couple items back here that I need to get still. Um, do you think I can sneak up on it? Not with that many monkeys. Holy crap. Okay, I need to kill the guns, though. Oh, I didn't even see the death blow icon on there. Oh, they poisoned me. Oh no, oh no. I don't like this very much. Okay, I don't wanna be in the poison either. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Why not try it, though? Oh, too far away. And I'm dead.
Damn. Would have been cool if I had gotten a death blow on that other monkey. But, whatever. I was blocking. Game doesn't like blocks to be effective against this thing. That was weird. Got him. Sweet. I got it done. Made it work. Um... I don't think there's anything over on this side. So, there is the item, the two items over here. Fulminated Mercury. I didn't read that description, but I'm pretty sure it's the first time I've gotten that. And a light coin purse. Okay. Um. Since I'm out of everything, Hanbei. Oh, I have to kill him, actually. I don't have to do it now, but I don't know. I could. I do want to read Fulminated Mercury, though. Highly precious grains forming the base for a devastating form of gunpowder. Uh, created in secret by the Interior Ministry using knowledge from across southern seas, the Central Forces military might owes much to this tiny tweak of chemistry. Fun stuff. Um, so if I go back to yeah this is fine I suppose either one is fine um, I mean neither is direct but can I just jump off here I mean I want to but I'm not gonna I'm gonna be a pansy Hmm, I guess I have to uh, get past the monkey again. Or is the monkey dead? Oh, it doesn't respawn. Okay. I did kind of wonder about that. Oh, wait, no, that's the white monkey. It just moved. Didn't it? What? I may as well see if I can sneak up on it. Oh, that was... A little bit interesting. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty easy XP. Have I been up here? There's nothing up here, but... Hmm, I don't know. Back into the cave we go. Got poison stuff. Um, I kind of want to kill these things again just because XP, you know? Where do they spawn? Was it up here? No, it wasn't. Was it down further? 
think so. Yeah. Oh, what? That second attack totally hit. Why can't I lock on or anything? I don't know how I made that one work. Um, kill him in a single, whatchamacallit, session. Can I just like, leave? Rather than dealing with those things? Kind of. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Oh, there's one over here too. All right. Oh, there's two of them over here. Um, oh, I think I just was avoiding, well, no, I don't know why I didn't see these guys around the first time. Oh, come on. I was so close. Can you just let me finish them off? Oops. 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 Alright, well, so now I have to heal. Damn. What is the deal with this one? This one in particular is just kind of a prick. Couldn't get that death blow. Whatever. Let's just top off my health because I can. I just want to double check. I think it's just I used the death blow. Yeah. Has to be after a backstab. I felt like this monkey was suspiciously placed, but I just didn't understand why. Alright, so now what happens? Do I go now? Eh. Okay. Seems to have worked. I don't really want to risk it by look trying to look around out there too much, but Oh, is this where I get the uh the the, the thing I need? Balloon of soul. Dried serpent viscera. A dried persimmon like heart of a great serpent. The great serpent is a god of the land, and this heart is believed to be where one's heart resides. Well, it looks much like a persimmon. In fact, this is the red viscera of a god. Apparently, denizens of the sunken valley worship the organs, believing they represent the deity itself. I don't remember all that blood being there when I first jumped on this thing. So is that it, then? No illusory wall or something? Not that I have any reason at all to suspect that there's illusory walls in this game. I mean, apart from, like, I guess the bit about it's from soft. So, I am curious what happens if I just attack this. 
I feel like I'd die. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Wow, it's there's warm light up here. Um, cool. Divine confetti. Three of them. Nice. Um, okay. Where do you suppose this comes out? It is! Okay. I had wondered. I had been wondering. Cool. So it's been an hour. I'm not aware there's things I haven't done here. I'm going to have no idea what to do with this Great Serpent Viscera. But... I don't suppose she has anything to say. What does it mean? Seriously, Wolf. Get a fucking grip. Alright. I don't remember when or where or what or why. But I do remember hearing something about King of the Monkeys. Right? Or am I thinking of the King of the Centipedes? Because I do remember the centipede things. And it's like, oh yeah, well, I don't know. They'll just find a new leader when appropriate. And then the leaders have the really long claws and whatever. I don't know. But I feel like I heard something about Monkey Kings as well. Um... That almost looks like a small cave over there, right behind where the monkey is. Like, once I kill it, I don't know if I continue somewhere or if this is just a dead end. Either way, there's a boss here. And I'll try to spend the rest of the episode killing it. I think. I expected it to aggro immediately. I really doubt I'll be able to sneak up on it, but what's the harm in trying? I don't need this. Actually, I have the sugar. I might want the uh, spirit emblems. So, let's catch them. Gotcha. Yeah, see, there's some aggro. Okay. Guardian Ape. Single death blow. Interesting. How did that not hurt me? Uh, how do you feel about fireworks, buddy? Oh, you hate fireworks. Goody. Oh, you really hate fireworks. Okay, can I just abuse that? Not massively so, but... Oh, wait, you're just... You stopped. I don't know. Okay, you're too far away. Where did that smoke come from? Hmm, I don't know. So something did poison me. Was it the water? It wasn't the water. Oh, it it poops or something. That's gross. Why aren't the fireworks working anymore? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I'm actually fairly close to winning. 
I don't know, this worked last time. Oh, that's a lot of poison build up real quick. Um, I'm out of spirit emblems. Brilliant. I'm poisoned. Less brilliant. Um, I need the thing to restore, to re remove poison. And I'm out of uh, heals. Um, contact medicine. This is, no, that, well, yes, that is useless. What was the thing I wanted? The gourd? Why not? Do I have the gourd? I already have the gourd. What am I thinking? Did I? I think I thought I was out of healing gourds. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I used an item. I healed myself accidentally. Contact medicine isn't what I want. No wonder it only had three uses. Shit. There we go. Okay. Uh. There we go. Nope, that's not quite it. I'm fumbling. I've begun fumbling. Hmm. I still, like, don't know when I can and can't attack. I need a heal, though. Alright, so now this is useless. Let's replace it with pellets. I would love to kill a boss on my first try. What is through his head? I mean, I noticed it at like the very, very beginning of the fight too. I just didn't know. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Um, I guess I can try... Something like that? That's probably not going to work, is it? Oh, I think I just wasted a pellet, actually. Uh-oh. I just need a few more hits, and I got really lucky right there, and I think I have it. Oh no, I don't have it. Not yet, anyway. No, just... just... just take a hit. <laughs> oh! I see. Interesting. Shinobi execution. Cool. So move that poison, shall we? <laughs> oh, fucking shit! What? I executed it. Uh, this makes more sense. It was only a single death blow. That was going to be so easy. God. What? But it said Shinobi Execution, man. Like, you're gonna pull that shit on me? I executed the thing. Oh my god. Okay. So that's a thing, apparently. Um. What the fuck is this? I don't know how to use the grapples yet. This is such a weird everything, dude. <sighs> if you want to have a two-stage boss, that's fine. But don't tell you... Tell me that you kill the boss part way through and then be like, LOL, Shinobi execution don't mean shit. Like, come on, man. Okay. Um, I...
want to kill some stuff. Where do I want to kill stuff? Simpo Temple has a bunch of stuff to kill. It's probably easy to kill. Um, I could farm the gun for it. Uh, that's not the easiest thing. Eh, it's not the hardest thing either. Let's do it. basically just the beginning that's hard but the, 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 but the beginning gets a lot easier if I use this uh, ninjutsu oh didn't quite work out okay well this isn't what I wanted I was too far away. Bummer. That's fine. I can actually just kill the one guy over and over again. And I'll probably only need to do it a couple more times. To get my thing back. A second revival. Just once. So, I guess I'll just go for it then, huh? Hey, buddy. I think jumping directly away from that is probably effective. I think jumping there is not effective. <laughs> oh, you turned around quick. Okay. Why do you stop? Fuck. Well, that's why I have multiple lives. Right? Wait, I can grapple him? What the fuck? How do I do? How do I get that again? That's like the grapple thing appeared on his neck. Oh, he's destroying all the trees. That kind of removes opportunities for me. Shit.
Does he have breakable limbs or something? I don't know what's going on here. Come on, I'm trying to like, fuck, dude. Well, thanks for cooperating everything. Well, I still use the vast majority of my gourds there, but whatever. All right, so. I don't really imagine the sparks, the firecrackers will still work here. That reminds me of a bloodborne enemy that attack right there I forget like the name of it but okay I'm just trying to like use an item here like there's the big fish things down where you find the uh recruyo That didn't take long. See, I could have respawned and then like died again later. Um, I don't know. I want... I guess I should say I don't want to have to farm up revives. And I want to keep a revive handy for when I'm doing better against this boss. You know? I don't know where I'm supposed to go to like not die to that. This game kind of has me burnt out on bosses. There's just like so many fucking bosses. I don't know how to tell. Right there. What does this do? 
Why can I only do that sometimes? Doesn't seem to be super effective, but... I don't know. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. It just fucking kills me and I don't know, can I block any of his attacks? All oh, that XP just draining away. Oh well. I'm just trying to get that grapple point to show up. I didn't know I could like sprint omnidirectionally um, while locked on. Is that only because this is like a boss or something? It's kind of fun though. Okay, that didn't work. See, it was there, and then it was gone before I could actually do anything about it. So I guess I have to be, like, perfectly positioned. Well, not super perfectly, but not be too far away, you know? to get in a couple hits and it's kind of risky but like what's the deal with it only showing up for like a split second why does it do that what's over there Nothing, probably. I don't know, the ground looked... Oh, this is like a roof. Or... or I don't know. I was just curious. I want to get up, please. I can't. It won't let me. Like, sometimes I'm here and it's too close because he starts rampaging and I can't get away. Maybe that's just because I'm running in the wrong directions or something. I don't know.
Okay, I hit the the trigger instead of the button. I wanted to use fireworks. I guess I accidentally queued up an attack, and then it just fucked me. But. I don't know, the thing to grapple to the sword shows up so rarely, and it also doesn't seem super effective anyway, so uh, I don't know. Somehow I did really well my first attempt, and not so well since, and I don't know what the difference is. Not really. like that attack that killed me I mean the first hit staggers me to the point where like I can't why why does it show up and then like not actually let me and then disappear before I can actually manage it like sure I wasn't positioned well enough but like I can't tell when it's going to show up so I have no idea when I need to be positioned well and I guess I could just constantly be playing riskier by staying closer to him but and see then there's like that where like nothing good happened and then sometimes I use the fireworks and he does what he did just now but then other times he'll kind of do what looks like the same thing except uh, he ends up falling on me and it's an attack and then I die And then something happens here. I don't know. Like, I think it's the equivalent of breaking limbs in Bloodborne, but... How am I supposed to know? Gross. That's what that is. It's gross. See, I feel like if limb breaking is a thing, then his left leg I still haven't broken. And so I'm trying to hit that to like... Shit, dude! Okay. 
Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but thanks. Alright, so I've still got five healing gourds left. But that doesn't mean it's gonna help me, really. There's one out. Let me out. I mean, I guess I can just continue running around for a long time just to, like, see what attacks he has, I guess. I don't know where my openings are. But, of course, the attacks are going to change depending on how close I am. And so once I try to get close and attack, it's going to use different attacks. And so whatever studying I do kind of doesn't work as well. And I'm not saying this won't help, but it'll only ever show me a piece of the puzzle. Like, there's just no point in any of this that I feel safe attacking. Its attacks are so huge and sweeping. It just, like, covers so much ground. Yeah, I didn't expect fireworks to do anything. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm not fucked. Okay. Let's run. That's a neat trick. I don't know. Should I? I don't know if I should use something to reduce that tear, or if I should just uh, rely on not getting too close during the thing. But it's taken so long for it to go away. Um, he's not using... Oh, that's a, that was a weird angle. This is weird. This is awkward. Okay. I've rearranged my fingers a little bit. So theoretically, if I'm just really patient, this seems to be working, kind of. Maybe I can whittle him down. Oh no, I got hit. Still though, this is like the first healing gourd I've used in the second stage on this attempt. So... That's nifty, right? I 
Yeah, there's like only the one attack I really feel comfortable attack um, countering or, you know, whatever. That one. I seem to be able to reliably sneak in a couple hits after that. But any other attack, and I feel like I might just get fucked. So I don't know how long I really want to spend on this boss fight of just running around and waiting and hoping, but... I guess whatever it takes, right? Whatever works. Okay. I'm getting a little too close to walls here. Shit. No, I want to heal. Interesting. I think that's the first time I've seen that one. Where's he going? Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, I knew that was risky. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He like pulls back just far enough that it can't actually seem to get in an attack there. Oh boy. I do still have a revive left too, so that's nifty. I just... As safe as I'm trying to play this, I'm still running out of healing, so... You know. Yeah, and then I ran into a wall, so... Okay, I didn't know what that attack was. Cool, that worked. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I need to figure out how to get out of that because like... I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I mean, I guess I could just not attack after that. I didn't realize that actually did damage to me, too. Has it always been doing damage?
feel like if I wait for only that one, the the four combo thing. That might be the way to do this. It's gonna take forever, but fuck, dude. I do want to win this. Seems to pretty consistently follow up with uh, that attack. Which is nice because I can always get away from that one. Yeah, I took damage again. It's not ideal. Fuck, I was too far away. Oh my god, okay. I felt like I should have only gone for one attack there, but... Oh well. Ah, uh, come on. So, did I mess that up, or has that just like been kind of consistently whittling away at my health? I don't know. Still though, I only need like one more. I think. I really need to not get greedy. God, it would suck if my controller batteries died right now. Oh, I can just miss. Yeah, that's cool too. It's not like I only needed one more attack or anything. So I'm curious, if I just, oh. That's a Bloodborne thing. Like there's literally a boss in Bloodborne that is headless and is controlled by a vermin like that. Oh, what the fuck? Where did that come from? Memory, Guardian, Guardian Ape. Uh, the Guardian Ape was defeated, though its roar can still be heard. It is said that an infested body marks the undying. Slender finger. The slender finger of a young woman can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool. Found in the belly of the guardian ape, it is partially digested. There is a shinobi technique called the whis finger whistle that can drive beasts wild. The one who used it before clearly used it for this purpose, as evidenced by the finger's open hole. Ah... Uh. So pleasant. Well. How long was that boss fight? I don't know, 15 minutes? <laughs> but I'm done. I did that, and I think this is probably a good place to end the episode. Um, thank you.
They say that an infested body is the mark of the undying, but such a long life would surely be quite lonesome for even an ape. Perhaps the echoing roar of the guardian ape was in fact a solicitation of sorts. Like a mating call? Well, I may as well fit the new shinobi tool, right? Why is the dialogue different this time? I don't know. Finger whistle. It's so weird and gross. Um, its sound will grab an enemy's attention and draw them to the whistle's location. By locking onto a target, only the targeted enemy will hear the whistle. Huh. The sound of the finger whistle enrages beasts, making them unable to distinguish friend from foe. So, I mean, that sounds like it does two different things, then. It either lures enemies to my location, so that I can kind of leash them and pick them off one by one, or it enrages them and makes them start fighting each other. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Finger whistle. Enrages beasts. Only the targeted enemy can hear the finger whistle when locked on. If no target is locked, all surrounding enemies will hear the sound. Kind of gross. Um, I need six hundred dollars, but what it does for this upgrade, taking a deep breath before performing a whistle allows for the sound to be delayed. That sounds nifty. It's the mountain echo effect. And after that I can get this too. The Phoenix's lilac umbrella. Um What's it described as? It's emblazoned with a purplish blue phoenix. When spread open, it will protect against attacks from all directions. The blessings of the phoenix fill the umbrella, preventing damage from apparition type enemies. I mean, that's kind of what it looked like with the color and stuff. Um, does that mean it actually prevents terror? That'd be awesome. Um, let's see, umbrella deflect. They are easier to time than sword deflects. While using shelter, uh, I can hit left button as an enemy attack lands to do an umbrella spin, which just spins it and deflects enemy attacks. I don't understand how the umbrella spin would deflect things differently than the umbrella deflect would. In any case, this is another thousand. Um, and then I can't get this upgrade yet. I could get this one. But I kind of want to save my fulminated mercury for one of these. Um, okay, let's get 1600 gold and come back. Doesn't matter. I brought something for you. I'll keep a little bit of it. It burns the throat as soon as ever. This really brings back memories. Did you think this often? I trained in the techniques of the show. In the valley where the monkeys dwell. By yourself. No, there were two of us. We were rogue shipmen. There was no proper master of the likes of us. 
Exactly. So is it a his or a her? Because, you know, voice said his, subtitle said her. Um, so it does seem like the uh, drinks only provide some lore. I don't know. I kind of may as well just walk around and offer drinks to whoever will take them as many times as they will take them. What am I doing here? All right, I'm selling stuff. How much do I need? 1,600? How much do I have? 30? Wow. Malcontent's ring. Hmm. And I can torment apparition type enemies if I find that special item. So that's cool. Uh, that's, I guess, the end of the episode, though. Maybe I'll check over here. I guess, I mean, I have nothing else to do. I'll just go ahead and kill Hanbei. centipede thing hidden tooth a false tooth loaded with a secret shinobi drug blue in color can be used repeatedly crush the blue nostrum between the back teeth to die as often as one pleases could be useful in certain situations surely an unnecessary reminder but the first death is typically one's last see I had another item that like lets me die and it's like, oh yeah, this doesn't consume a, a, a resurrection when you use it. But like, what's the point? I don't understand the advantage. It's... Like, I mean, I guess I could try it. And maybe suiciding means I don't lose experience or something I have no idea but well whatever in any case um, I guess I may as well try out this thing Weird, but kind of nifty, I guess. Um, okay. Well, <sighs> okay. Uh, I guess next time I'll probably pick up here.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.